Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Poznanski's Beer Reviews. Today's beer is the Blue Moon White IPA. I've only had one other IPA before in my life, and that was the Saranac White IPA. The ABV on this one is 5.9% alcohol by volume. It's brewed by the Blue Moon Brewing Company, which also is known as Molson Coors. They brew your Coors Light, Coors Banquet, and all that stuff. Um, the malt is wheat and oats. The hops are Simcoe, Cascade, and Citra. And the IBUs on this one is 45. IBU stands for International Bittering Units. The sell-by date is September 7th, 2015 for this one. A crisp, refreshing white IPA crafted with four varieties of hops. Uh, yet it says three on their website. Okay. Wheat, coriander, and a hint of orange peel. For our unfiltered white IPA, we complemented the citrus hop character with wheat and a hint of orange peel. Then we dry hopped it with Cascade, Citra, and Huel Melon hops. Doesn't say that on their website. For a bright hop aroma, then creates a balanced IPA. Their glassware, they recommend using the Blue Moon. I've literally gone. I've literally checked out every single one of almost every single one of their beers, and every single beer they recommend their own Blue Moon Blue uh, Glass. So, okay. The um. Let's see anything else to say? The food pairings pairs well with bold, flavorful seafood dishes, spicy Mexican food, and strong cheeses such as sharp cheddar and blue cheese. You could also add gorgonzola, uh, provolone. Um, some feta cheese would probably go good with this one. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, it is twist off. Get it into the glass. It's unfiltered, so let's do the unfilter. Swirl around in the bottle. Get all the... Chunkies in there. Very unfiltered. It pours a hazy, about a hazy orange color. Got a two finger of a off white head. Get the aroma. Not much. A little bit of sweet orange peel. Hint of the malt and hop characteristics. Some coriander. Maybe some clove in there. Let's get a taste. Um, coriander, orange peel, not much hops though, pleasant, I'm uh, not pleasantly surprised actually, um, quite surprised, some, a little bit of bitterness on the back end, light bodied to medium bodied. Nice head sticking around, but grainy taste. Not much hops, really. Uh, let's see what their profile says on the uh, mouthfeel. Aroma, grapefruit, I don't smell it with the cream. Uh, with citrus. I don't smell any of their hops, really, in the nose. A taste is on their website says assertive, clean, bitter flavor with strong citrus and fruity hops. I don't really taste that. I got the smooth malt. Maybe just a hint of the of this of the cascade hop. Not much. I'm actually quite displeased with this beer right now. I thought it would be much more, be a lot better. The white IPA I had from uh, Saranac 
was good. That was what I think a white IPA should actually taste like. I I don't get the grapefruit. I don't get the citrus. I don't get really. I get bittering hops. There is a, there is bittering hops, but that's just about it. Some malt, a little coriander, a little sweet orange peel, and that's it. Um, let's see what Beer Advocate gives it. Uh, Blue Moon, what IPA? Uh, I don't think they have a grade for it yet. Oh wait, here we go. Blue Moon Wine IPA. They give it an eighty percent. Uh, I don't agree with that. Uh. People are giving a good view. Um, maybe this was just a bad one, but I mean, we'll. I mean, I'll drink another one, and I'll and I'll write a comment if if it tastes any good. But um, as far as this one, and it's supposed to be for I bought it today. Not that much. This is not what a white IPA I think should taste like. It looks like an IPA kind of. Has a nice head that's sticking around. Nice, 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 almost ice cream like white head. Let's see what rape beer gives it. I usually don't do rape beer. Okay, rape beer gives it a 43 overall and gives it a 14 in the style. So, that's pretty much for the Blue Moon White IPA. I'm actually quite disappointed, guys. I thought this would have been better. I mean, it is drinkable. It's very light. Sessionable. Little, little, little bit of alcohol taste, not a lot. But... I give it about a 65. Okay, I, I won't even go 65. I'll say 70. I'll give him a little bit of a push there. Just because it's not horrible. It's not doesn't deserve a 60. It deserves at least a 70. A 70, guys. If you had it, let me know what you think. If not, try to pick it up. As always, thank you for the, uh, watching my reviews. Uh, request, subscribe, comment down below. And cheers, folks.